across Ghana's 16 regions, sports and talent abound in endless numbers. However, a conscious national attempt to develop and groom these talents to become Ghana's next enviable natural resource has remained but a pipe dream. Many experts argue the lack of much-needed sports infrastructure is to blame for the unrealized dreams of talent development and sports improvement in general. Evidence is a number of local-based players that make it into the senior national team. Aside the absence of much-needed facilities, existing sports infrastructure are in very appalling state. The story is no different in the Volta regional capital, Ho. So behind us is the 10,000-seater multi-purpose youth sports complex, which was started by the Ekufuadu administration in March of 2018. Inside there was to be completed a standardized football pitch, an eight-track field for athletes, a tennis court, volleyball court, amongst others to provide the right avenue for the many burden talent here in the Volta region and the capital to be specific. At the time of our visit, the facility had been overtaken by weeds with headsmen leading their cattle to graze. The tracks and pitch were no different. Metal railings were corroding and newly installed air conditioners left to rot. Coach of second division team Volta Rangers, Alfred Nikoi Kote Jani, bemoaned the absence of enough facilities. The scarcity of pitch here is, is, is it's, 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 it's very bad because then the few ones that you even see around are not in the best of shapes. You know, not to talk about the one at the stadium, you know, the facility is just there and it's, it's getting rotting. You go there, nothing seems to be working there. There's a lot of talent here. So if they have good facilities that can help the boy, the boy can get places to play. You know, if, I have the feel that a lot more talent are going to come out of this region, not only in terms of football. Despite this challenge, talent are hopeful and keep on pushing for a breakthrough. At the whole Technical University, these athletes train fervently in not so comfortable situation. They tell me all they require is a chance and facilities to prove themselves. To be honest, in Ghana, I don't think there is lots of opportunities for especially sportsmen in Ghana. That's why I don't consider it. But if it happens to if they are provided social amenities for training to go on, for us to reach a level where we can be competitive, I'll go for it. I feel if we embrace the sports and make it, make it good for us and amenities and things are provided, I believe aside the academic excellence, this school will grow with the sporting excellence as well. Doji Otis Ahose. A well-respected talent scout in the Volta region says the continuous lack of facilities and a clear path for growth means many parents don't want a future in sports for their children. Identify talents to be playing at uh, areas that are not so friendly. It discourages them. And some parents also, because we don't have the facilities, they look at that and they don't allow their kids to. Yeah, so facility is, is a major challenge we have in the region. Ghana in 2023 will host the All-African Games where some of these athletes and many of their colleagues in different parts of the country will be hoping to be able to make it to the national levels and later even go pro. But as to whether or not a career in sport is one that they can't really vouch for remains a question to be answered with facilities still in dire need in parts of the Volta region like this. For TV3 News, Eric Mawena Egbeta, Ho Volta region.